Oh, uh, I yeah. Want to move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh? So uh, on the issue of well, we could we can move on to some of your some of your other points, or if you wanted to uh, talk about you you said Muhammad performed miracles and you gave a couple of examples yesterday and you said that Muhammad fulfilled prophecies if you want to give a uh, you gave a couple of examples if you uh um you want to, you want to talk about one of those one of those issues so uh, it, yeah Dave. so so Whatever if you, you want. so if you now, now uh, yeah I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh I'll go ahead and tell you uh Sam and I I think I, I think Sam I think Sam still believes this. I I know I do. We believe that according to the Quran, Muhammad actually didn't perform miracles except the Quran. Exactly. So that that's our position. So uh, if you wanted to make uh, make a case for why we should actually believe that Muhammad did perform miracles that would be similar to the miracles of a of a biblical prophet, um, you, you can you could go ahead and, and share share any ex, share your best examples with uh, with uh, with the viewers. I'm sorry. Can you repeat? I was I was writing my response to the Quran, not doing, not saying about miracles. Can you repeat? Oh yeah, it yeah. Ba ba basically, uh, basically, uh, our position is that we don't believe that Muhammad performed miracles. We believe that those were sort of later inventions, and that the Quran actually denies that Muhammad could perform miracles. So, if you wanted to, but you're you're appealing to Muhammad's miracles to show that he actually meets the biblical criteria. Uh, of a prophet. So if, if we were assuming that miracles would would give someone a good case that he's that he's a prophet, what miracles what miracles do you believe that Muhammad performed apart from apart from the Quran? Uh, oh yeah. Um, okay so the mirror so the Quran is saying the Prophet Muhammad didn't do miracles, that's actually false. The Prophet Muhammad or the Quran is denying specific miracles to the Meccans. You know why? Because the Meccans were asking for uh, miracles, and even if the Prophet Muhammad did those miracles, the Meccans still wouldn't believe. Like I believe in the New Testament, uh, Sam, you could, you you uh, you can, you could probably have the references where it says John the Baptist didn't do miracles, yep. or Jesus says uh, in uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Gospel of Mark or the Gospel of Matthew, no sign shall be given to you except you know the sign of Jonah, uh, the Gospel of Matthew chapter. Uh, 12, I don't know the references, but it's in there, the Gospel of Mark and the Gospel of Matthew. You can look up, I apologize, uh, you can look up the references. Matthew 16, yes, even, Matthew 16. Yeah, exactly. so even John the Baptist, and he, John the Baptist didn't do miracles, and the Jews were asking Jesus to do a miracle, and he said, no signs will be given to you. He was frustrated with the uh, Jews, too. So the Quran is basically, uh, the Quran is not saying the Prophet Muhammad can never do miracles. That's not what he's saying. The Quran is not saying the Prophet Muhammad's only a, more, a warner. He, he, can, he can't do miracles. The Quran is denying specific miracles to the Meccans, because even if Prophet Muhammad did those miracles, they still they still wouldn't believe. So uh, so that's the uh, that's the argument. The Quran is not is not denying that the Prophet Muhammad can't do miracles.